Now you toured with the last album for a while. What happens next? We're finishing up at the end of next month, basically. And then normally we finish touring and then we've been like dead and collapsed for three or four months. We're actually feeling pretty peppy now, so I wouldn't be surprised if we kept playing music and recording things, but not not capital R recording a capital R record. Do you have any ideas? No. I mean, we have a new um, space to play music in that we're sort of all working on building, and I mean, that's that's as much as we know. Like, we will play music in there at some point. Yeah. yeah. But it? really no plan, like, at all. Not talking about, yeah, this, maybe this can be a concept. No, that, I mean, that even comes a lot later. It's always just starts with playing songs, and then about five or six months into it, you start thinking about the broader aspects of it. So. Oh, can you tell me how it, how it, how it worked last time? It's, al suburbs? it's always been song by song. Like, every song is a project unto itself. And then you get a bunch of songs together, and then you're like, oh, we could either push it in this direction, like we could add three songs like this, we could go there, or we could finish these two songs, and the album will look more like this. So about halfway in, you decide on the shape. And then right at the end, you shape it, and it's still you're still making decisions at the very end that determine how cohesive or how expansive it is. On stage, Okay, fight. You seem to have so much fun, and you're very like uh, you give the audience a lot. It's such a pleasure to be in the audience because you like you give a lot, uh, a lot of energy. And um, but I was thinking afterwards, how do you feel? Hollow. <laughs> no, <I'm> dead. <laughs> no, I mean uh, it's you know there's definitely like. And it's an hour and a half of, it sounds really hippy-dippy, but you really do build a bit of a relationship over an hour and a half. So the nights where the crowd is like really giving, we feel great. And some nights it feels cold, <laughs> or you know what I mean? It really depends on the environment. I mean, off, you know, we feel like physically tired usually and, and uh, but I don't know, we're like generally pretty positive, like we, Talk, talk about the show and see some friends and family and yeah some nights are just really great and magical it stuff. feels I feel like it feels more locker room than rock party afterwards yeah. like everyone just kind of decompressing and chatting and having you know maybe eating a little snack but it's pretty mellow and normally positive but you know you have bad shows every once in a while but normally you come back and you just kind of feel like oh yeah that was good yeah Towel, 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 towel. Yeah, shower, change, shower, change, shower, change. shower, shower, shower. Yeah. But you don't. I, mean, I was thinking about like if you get mentally tired, like oh, I get, I get, I get everything. And then, towards the end of a tour, yeah. you start to have higher highs and lower lows. Like if you play a bad show after you've been on the road for a month, you feel just like get me out of here. Like I want, I don't want to talk to anyone. I want to go home. But also, if you play a great show at the end, you're just like. Oh, this is so great. This uh, is why we do it. Yeah, totally. <laughs> but you never thought like, oh, who am I? When I'm off stage, I'm so empty. But when I'm on stage, I'm everything. No. You know what I mean? No. It's more, it's that thing. It's like at the end of a tour or the end of a touring cycle. Like if we, like on Neon Bible, we worked, 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 worked. We toured a lot, toured a lot, toured a lot. And after a year and a half of touring, then you start, I mean, in your worst moment, you're like, what, like, because you sort of like forget the relationship you have to the music because you have done it so many times. So that's kind of the part of the reason we're stopping soon is to just stop while it feels good. Only have time for one more question. Um, so, Arcade Fire, what do you think of the expression, less is more? I appreciate that expression. We tried that on this last record a little bit. That, that's our version of a <laughs> less is more concept. I believe in that, usually. I think less is sometimes more. Yeah. I think less is appropriate sometimes, and more is appropriate sometimes. But I, yeah, I think it's, it's generally good to try to express something in the most concise form. But sometimes the most concise form is really over the top. <laughs> so next album would be lesser? I would never say that, but... It'll be song by song, as always. Yeah. There'll be a couple songs that are just 
drum and voice, <laughs> and then there'll be a couple symphonies. So. <laughs> really? Maybe. Thank you very much. Thank you.